just tried to film a video and had to delete it. Gonna try to make this quick. Because wife's almost home and I don't want to be making a video when she gets home because that's just rude. So, the name Nothen. First of all, I'd like to um, thank the people who remove themselves from my subscribers list. You definitely weren't wanted anyways. Um, and I, I, I hope if you see this, it makes you feel like a jackass for those particular thoughts you're having. But anyway... So, this whole secret name thing. Back in the, let's just say mid to early 90s, because I'm not trying to give away my really obvious mathematical birthday. <laughs> um, I was like 14, 15 years old, right? And I was coming up with my first screen name. Yahoo had just become like a thing. AOL was kind of annoying. CompuServe was a thing of the past. And... I wanted, like, a screen name. You know how like, people had screen names? Well, some of y'all weren't even fucking on the internet then, I'm sure. Most of y'all probably weren't on the internet then, I'm sure. I'm talking early 90s, mid-90s. 94 at the latest is when this happened. I know when I'm... I, I know when the fuck it happened, but I'm not telling you because it's fucking relevant information. So... <laughs> I had this brief thought right after this name I, I i wanted i didn't want just like a screen name i wanted like a whole unique word to myself right i was an exorcist i was like a i was an individualist you know imagine that a group of people who consider themselves individualists yeah one of those fucking dumbass teenagers and i was still really spiritual and i was I, I considered myself an exorcist i considered myself a demon hunter i would go out and find people who had problems with them and become their friends just so i could help them with them in the subtlest way or the most direct way possible, I let God decide. You know, it was always just my path to help people that had the really big brains and the really bad problems, okay? Well, the thought occurred to me as soon as this name just instantly entered my mind. Oh, that's your name. Why do you even, like, like, as if it was like, that's your name. Why do you even need to fucking ask? I had this thought about the whole in the Bible about the secret name that only he would know. Hear me out. Because I thought, that's fucking silly. I thought the way most people react to the flat earth thing. That's how I react. And I said, bullshit. This, I must be being tricked by a fucking demon right now. That's, that's blasphemy. No, I am not floating on a cloud UFO thingy. Not this time. Um, little did I... I didn't believe in reincarnation at this point, too. Remember that? I, I actually told people that reincarnation was a chicken shit cop-out and that they needed to man up and have some morals. You know, I mean, I did not believe in reincarnation. I was a fucking Christian, like a regular, normal, everyday Bible-thumping... Well, not Bible-thumping. I was a cocksucker about it. <laughs> Christian. Christian. The way non-religious, spiritual Christian should be, who go to non-denominational churches, and whose church members don't make them feel bad when they don't come, you know. But if you want, you can go fucking almost every day of the week, these kind of churches. They're, they're community centers, they help the poor, that kind of thing. But, I digress. Leadership. If you don't get the leadership thing, you need to watch Stargate Atlantis. Otherwise, I can't make it funny for you. So, long story short, Learning this name, I laughed and I said, okay, if that's the secret name, then right now, God, I thought I was talking to a demon, but I was actually, I think, talking to God. Um, I want you to have a child born with that name just to commemorate this occasion in which the blah, blah, blah found out he was the blah, blah, blah. When I woke up, I looked up and found that there was a guy born around that time. Exactly. Um, and his name is Nothen. And you see, I didn't stop there, though. I was a teenager, and I was a smartass. And it was around the time that the 
Friends series. Was kind of He's weird. still a smart ass. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what was I saying? Smart ass. But you're so pretty, and now I can't think. Uh, she's right there, and I want to go love her, and now i got to finish making the video. Anyways. <laughs> so, teenager, smart ass. Male teenager, smart ass. Right around the time that Friends was coming out, and a certain girl named Courtney Cox was popular. And me and my friends had been making plenty of jokes about the last name Cox, because we were teenagers and male. So, being in the smart-ass mood that I was, because I can be a smart-ass when fighting a demon, believe me, okay? I said, okay, this kid that's going to be born to commemorate the occasion, Nothen Cox. Now, don't go troll this guy. Don't go stop this guy. I don't want to freak this poor kid out. He's, he's less than half my age, for God's sake. But the fucking kid is real. The birthmark on my wife's arm is real. The little girl I knew that was Mother Nature is real. This kitten. Oh, wait. Can you see it? Can you see the birthmark? Can you see it? Can you see it? All right, fuck. No, you, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yay, birthmark. What'd you know about that? And this kitten, this kitten is definitely very real. Oh, look at the reality of cuteness. Oh, the cuteness. She's a mer. Yes, this is a mer. If you do not know what a mer is, just say it's a mer. This is a mer. Because anything that you have an emotional response to that is blocking the actual verbal definition, mer. It's a mer. Wait, even mer. the kitten can say it. Mer. So. If you've finally woken up to why I act like I just don't give a shit and why that's a good thing, um, please like some videos. Find one that your friends might not be too freaked out by if you want. I don't care. I'm not trying to convince anybody about me. But if I was to come across somebody who said they had a spirit name, I'd be like, oh, shit. So if you got a spirit name, you should have a really good reason to have a spirit name. Otherwise, you're just kind of a pretentious cock. And I'm not a pretentious cock. I mean, I, I, I can be a cock, but there's nothing really pretentious about me. I don't think. What do you think? Am I pretentious? Nah. Yeah, pretentious is not the word. I'm, I'm, I'm more of like a straightforward, in-your-face kind of asshole. He'll point in your face and laugh. <laughs> and now she's going to go kill the children. Good night, everybody.